Okay, this uh, experiment is um, an experiment that investigates the Hill reaction, which is actually about the reducing activity of chloroplasts. Um, so I've set up tube one already because, you know, your life's too short to be watching me setting up different tubes. Um, but the basic principle of this experiment is that during the light dependent reactions, uh, NADPH is produced. And so what this experiment named after Mr. Hill, possibly Dr. Hill, who did it, um, is using that reducing activity of chloroplast to reduce a blue dye called DC PIP. So preparation for this. In preparation, spinach leaves have been ground up. They've then been centrifuged to within an inch of their lives. And so in this tube, what you're seeing, that dark green blob right at the bottom, are the chloroplasts. And some of the smaller chloroplasts have ended up in what's called the supernatant. So I'm just going to drain off very carefully the supernatant. Um, so this is only going to have a few chloroplasts in and we are going to use that in one of the tubes so you can see that in tube 5 I'm going to need one centimetre of supernatant. We then need to re-suspend our chloroplasts and we're going to use a phosphate buffer for that. So I'm just going to put that tube down but anyway, never no, no mind. Um, we need five centimetres cubed of phosphate buffer. Put that into this pellet and resuspend the chloroplast. So this should go really quite a nice dark green. Never ever put your thumb over a tube when you don't know what's in it. I do know <coughs> what's in this. It's phosphate buffer and a few chloroplasts. Buy a vortex cold. machine. <laughs> what's a vortex machine when it's at home? Mm. Oh right, okay. If you use one of those, mm. ooh, hey, see that's what being a doctor does for you. <laughs> so in here I've got my nice suspension of chloroplasts and you can see that this is a much darker green colour than this one. I haven't really got anything, oh I'll put it in here, there we go, lovely. So I'm now going to set up my tubes, I've already set up my control <coughs> tube and you'll notice, as you can look at the practical schedule while I go through this, that all the volumes add up to five uh, so that each one has the same volume of stuff in. So tube one has got half a milliliter of DC pip in it and it has got four and a half of buffer making it up to five. This one I'm only going to put in um, my chloroplast suspension so I've got four of buffer and I now need one Possibly the least successful sucking up I've ever done. There we go. So this one's just going to have uh, chloroplasts in. Now, obviously, these are our two control experiments. So this one is just going to show us that light doesn't make the DC pips spontaneously decolorize. This one is showing that at the end point, if you like, of the uh, experiment, so the colour that all the tubes should go, photosynthesis is taking place. We're then going to have our sort of most active tube. So this one is eventually going to have DC pip in it as well. And then we've got one in the dark. Now obviously if we're doing the light looking at the light dependent reactions producing reducing power, what we're expecting is that one in the dark shouldn't produce any reducing power and therefore <coughs> um, that's not going to change colour. So that will pretty much show as our starting point. And in our last one we're going to put this sort of smaller concentration of chloroplasts. And I'm thinking you can pretty much work out what will go on in that tube. So that's all my chloroplasts in. I now need to put my DC pip in. Um, so I'm making you want to sneeze. So 
and to put in half a mil of DC pip into tubes three, four and five. So half a mil into tube, nearly, nearly put it into tube two. Half a mil into tube four. Half a mil into tube five. And again, I'm going to give them a bit of a bit of a mix, and then I'm going to have to be really quite quick with what we do now. Seal the lid of my tube, pop it in front of a lamp, put my lamp on, and what we're expecting to happen is nothing in tube one, because that's just showing that the uh, DC pip doesn't decolorize when you shine a light on it. Tube two will be the color that tube three should go if the DC pip decolorizes. Tube four, we're pretty much expecting that that will stay this bluey green color because the chloroplasts are not doing those light dependent reactions. And if they're not doing non cyclic photophosphorylation, so they've no electron transport chain going on, they've no photolysis of water going on. There's nothing there then to reduce, to produce that proton gradient. We know diffusion through ATP synthetase uh, and therefore no hydrogen ions dropping out the bottom of that electron transport chain to reduce the final electron acceptor. So we're expecting that one to sort of stay this colour. And then in the final tube, this just shows um, this one you should have been thinking about and thinking, well, what's going to happen in that? Well, we've still got chloroplasts. So they are still going to be doing that electron transport. They're going to be producing NADP. But of course, they have far less chloroplasts, so that should take a lot, lot longer. Um, I don't know what Dr. Selwell wants to do now, because potentially there's a mileage in stopping it. <laughs> Because again, we're watching paint dry, we're waiting for photosynthesis to happen. Uh, so we'll come back when that's completed and I'll show you what's inside tube four, which will be exciting. Well, it'll teach me to try and work without the cameraman. Anyway, so here we go. Um, let's have a look at the results then. So, um, as expected, no change in this, no chloroplast to make the change. This one kind of gives us the end point, and you can see, I want, I do, I've just stopped it sort of just before the end point, just to show you that yes, the DC pip is still in there, so you can still see a little bit of blueiness in there um, as it uh, has decolorized the DC pip, and so that's nearly, nearly at its end point now. You can see that number five, with its less chloroplasts in, pretty much we're not seeing any colour change there. And here we go with the one that was, has been in the dark. And again, whoa, just for comparison, that's it. With its chloroplasts, DC pit, but it's been in the dark and therefore there's been no uh, reducing power produced by the chloroplasts whatsoever. So that's the Hill reaction experiment. Now remember that in an exam, if they're asking you about an experiment and you have not done that experiment, it's not one that's in your practical book, they're not asking, when you get to interpret it, so they might be asking you about things like controls, they might be asking which control variables, then, but they're not going to ask you anything that's not on the syllabus. So this, you know, if you've done your question practice, this experiment comes up again and again and again. They're not asking you anything that's not on the syllabus. They're asking you about the light-dependent reactions when they're asking you for an explanation. So, you know, try not to panic if you see an experiment that you've not come across before. That is the bottom line. They're not asking you anything that you don't know. Okay, that's it. Oh, cameraman's back. Yay! Yay. <laughs>